What's up everyone, it's Dean here from Tutorials Hub and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at comparison between Tray AI versus Cursor AI. Now I tried both of these tools, both of these tools I have a tutorial for on my channel so definitely check that out. Now, obviously we're not going to go into each tool and you know test it out because I already did that. So what I can say about, you know, uh, first, code completion and generation with cursor, it does offer a more advanced code completion, right? You have like auto imports for TypeScript and Python, uh, also along with a composer feature, which is really great to code an entire, you know, applications. Overall cursor, really great for that. In terms of Tray AI, uh, what I like about Tray AI is the clean user interface, but in terms of code completion, it does provide an intelligent code. It does have really good UI in terms of like how everything is set up. And also uh, it has intelligent code suggestions um, and builder mode, which this is the Tray builder mode, uh, as you can see, which, uh, automatically breaks down tasks for project-wide operations. So um, also one thing to note is Tray is free, which is really, really great. So if you compare it to Cursor, it does have a lot of free things uh, that Cursor already has for a paid plan, which is uh, really, really insane to think about it. Now, uh, also in terms of chat and interaction, Cursor does um, have a feature where it has context-aware chat with folder, drag and drop, write support. So we have that facilitating seamless communication with coding environment. So again, with Cursor AI, you have really great integrated coding environments. With Tray AI, what I can do, what I can say is it includes dual chat interfaces. Um, as you can see, you have builder and you have chat. And uh, obviously you have also side chat and inline chat, allowing developers to interact with the AI assistant in multiple ways, which again is really, really great compared to Cursor AI. Now in terms of pricing, as you can see, obviously, you know, um, Cursor AI is paid. It offers a, a, like a pro subscription. It has a free hobby tier, but honestly, you know, with a pro subscription is much better. It's $20 a month. Uh, and then obviously, you know, business plan at $40 a month. Um, Tray, on the other hand, is currently free with all features included. And also, you know, obviously future pricing plans have yet to be announced because it's such a new tool uh, or IDE. Um, overall, I really like Tray. Um, as you can see, here's a, a little bit of a video of a Tray AI. I really like Tray AI because it's simple, it's fast, it's affordable, right? It's free. Uh, and you can do a lot of different things that you would probably do in Cursor AI. Now for more bigger projects, maybe Cursor AI would be better because of collaboration features. Uh, but again, if you wanna kinda explore something new, Tray AI is much better uh, you know, to go and to, to, to explore basically, right? So in summary, again, both Tray and Cursor provide a really detailed you know, AI assisted coding environments. Um, obviously Cursor offers more established platform with variety of subscription options and variety of features that are additional on top of the features that you have in Tray AI. Um, you know, on the other hand, Tray does present a, like a fresh approach and you have some unique features that are currently free to use, which again, you know, um, this will again depend very on what you want to use, how you want to use it. Uh, I would say Tray is great for collaboration as well. Um, in terms of like not collaboration, you know, where you actually go in and collaborate with people. But as you can see, it's like an in development partner. So let's say if you're like an indie developer and if you want to keep the things, you know, cheap, make sure to go with Tray AI. If you want to have all in one uh, platform that is really good coding platform, Cursor AI is still the best. However, again, I would say Tray is, is, is definitely there and has some really poten big potential. So um, yeah, for smaller projects, if you're an, like an indie uh, you know, uh, programmer, I would go with Tray. If you're like a, maybe a corporation, a bigger business that is in within programming niche and category, I would go with Cursor AI because it's a much bigger, better tool. Obviously for the price you're paying, it needs to be uh, but again, like Tray does have a lot of different things uh, that Cursor also has, but in a more simple way and simplistic way. UI is also really, really good. So that's what I would say here between those two. Again, you can choose which one works for you the best. Comment below what you think about these two. 
if you try them and uh, yeah, I would love to see other co people's comments as well. Um, and then, you know, other people that watch this video can decide on their own if this is something they want to pursue, right? Trey or Cursor AI. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.